Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we are going to look at what should be done in grade 11 and that is looking at database programming. This will form part of your final exam, question 2.2. But before we start, just let's have a look at what a database is. Here is an example of a database that I'm going to use in my book to explain Addo Tables to you, which is the database programming. Addo Tables is the object that we link the database through or the table and that we will use in our code. So this is a one database, so it's one file, but it consists of more than one table. And currently I have the teacher's table open. One row in a database will refer to a record. And the values you see here at the top, those are called fields. And one of these entries here, I'm going to refer to as a value in my database. So this is the email address of one record in my database. There's another table here. This is the usernames table. Again, there we have records. And then we have our field names at the top. These are important because when you code and you need to spell them correctly. This is what we call the design view of my table usernames. And every field name will appear in here. And then next to it, a data type will be selected. So an auto number is a number that will be created when I add a new record without me having to type it in. It will just follow on the previous number and it starts at 1 in this example. And then we have the short text data type. I don't recommend that you guys use the longer text because when we're displaying our database it takes up too much space on our screens. And then we have the grade which is a number. And I've set it here at the bottom to an integer. In Access, the real numbers are called double. But when we're working with integers and real numbers, as well as with currencies, we're going to deal with them in the same way. So currencies will show in my database the RAND symbol. But once you display it in uh, Delphi, you're not going to see that currency symbol anymore. And then we have yes, no fields, which is our typical Boolean fields, which is either true or false or yes or no. To practice with me, you can download the data files from this link here. So do that before you continue. We are going to use the eBooks program. And I just wanted to show you the running of this program. You won't yet have all the information that you see here. But what I want you to take note of is this little triangle and I can click on it to move it or I can move here on the side on my scroll bar and the record that this little triangle is pointing to I'm going to refer to as the active record. If I would do anything with these field names at the moment and not loop through my table as we're going to do I'm going to point at this stage to Philip Michael in the username table and in this teacher table I'm going to point to Miss Macmillan. But now instead of having to move that pointer manually on your form you can write code to move the active record. So the first bit here this is TBL learners that is the component I use to link the table with. So for example the table is in the database is called usernames, but I've used TBL learners, the add a table component, to link the usernames to Delphi. And if I go TBL learners dot first, it moves the active record, so that little triangle that you see to the first record at the top of that table. Prime moves it back one. Next that we use often goes to the next record. Last goes to your last active record. And then we can also jump to a specific record by using RecNO and assigning an integer value to that property. So if the person enters a 2, it will jump to the second record. Another handy function is the record count. So we won't use all these functions on their own, 
we will combine them with the name of the table dot record count because remember our database has two tables in it and we need to say which one are we using and that's the component name on our Delphi program and record count for the purposes of our exams will always have the total number of records in that table. So now's your time to practice. I want you to open the program from the downloaded data files in the Addo Tables folder. Inside there is an ebooks folder. And in there I want you to open the program and then use TBL username and code these in the different buttons. Before you continue, I just want you to take note of this DM user. I don't want you to worry about that at the moment. It is a data module and we link the database through that. But in an exam, this will be done for you. And later in my book, I do show you how to link the database using these addo tables yourself and also making use of a data module. So for now, just code DM user dot and then the name of the table. And this is our first button. So we're just going to go dot next. So now try the rest of the buttons and then I'll show you the memo. So to move the active record one back or one up, we use the code TBL username dot prior. And to go to the first record, it's just dot first. The last record is just dot last. We often use dot first as you would see in our next lessons. So for the jump button, I'm getting input from the user of where I want to go to, storing that as an integer number. And then I use dmuser.tblusername.recno and I assign that to the integer number to jump to that record. And to display the number of records in the table TBL username, I just use my dot record count. But because record count is an integer, I need to interstring that in my show message. You can now change this to TBL teacher and then you'll see you'll have a different number there and that would be the number of records in your teacher table. This was just a quick introduction on database programming and there's lots more lessons to come after this. Hope to see you soon.